So what is BitCloud and how can you make money off this platform? Hey, this is Bing Jun here. And in this video, I'm going to be revealing to you why this platform could be the platform that disrupts all of the other platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and why the future of social media might be this platform. We're going to discuss the pros and the cons. And as you guys know, when it comes to every new platform, it is always the early adopter that wins. And if you're watching this video right now, congratulations. It means that you are an early adopter because by the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to maximize this platform, why it's a really exciting platform, and how you can actually utilize it to build your brand and also make money, not just by growing your following, but also other people's following. What? Stay tuned. All right, so first of all, let's talk about this platform. Like, what is BitCloud? You might have heard of it, or maybe not. Well, BitCloud, let's take a look at the white paper. Now, what is the white paper? The white paper is basically like the vision, okay? So this is at BitCloud white paper, and this is the official explanation of what BitCloud is. BitCloud is the new type of social network that lets you speculate on people and post with real money built from the ground up on its own custom blockchain. Now, one of the things that I am going to be doing in this video is I am going to be experimenting by putting in $15,000. As you can see, I just funded my wallet here. Guys, I just opened up my account literally yesterday. And I put in Bitcoin in here and it translates to about $15,000. It dropped a little bit last night, but it was about 15,000 yesterday. I'm doing this for your advantage so that you don't have to go through trial and error, so that you don't have to make the mistakes and you'll be able to learn it through me in this video. And if you stay till the end, this video is not just gonna save you money, but hopefully avoid a ton of headaches and mistakes that you might make if you didn't understand these principles. Okay, so what does this mean? Like, why does a social media platform need money? Think about this way, okay? Right now, what this thing is, what BitCloud is, is that think about you and me and every influencer and every author and every celebrity and every person that you've ever known. What if they all had their own profile, just like Twitter, their own Facebook, their own Instagram, but they also had their own currency? So that's right. It means that I have a Ping Jun currency Donald Trump has his own currency, Tony Robbins has his own currency, and we can buy and sell their currency. And if more people buys it, just like shares, the price goes up. If more people dump their shares, the price goes down. So each person, including myself, we have this thing called creator coins. So right now, literally, I never imagined that I would have my own Ping Jun coin, but here we are, I do have a Ping Jun coin on BitCloud, and you will see before we talk about creator coins and how it works and before we spend this money together. Today, that's right, in this video, I'm going to be blowing all $15,000. You're going to see my train of thought, my process, how I think about investing and how it's going to make you money. The reason why I'm very bullish about this is because I have friends who literally turned about $30,000 to about $500,000 in about two weeks. Now, obviously, results not typical. They were earlier than me and they were two weeks earlier than me. But right now, the good news is you're still early. Okay, so let's talk about how the interface looks like. So right now, you will see, just like Twitter, I can make a post. So this is my feed. I can type anything, just like a Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter feed. I can post an image and I can make a post. Every time I make a post, it goes on my profile, okay? And you can see that in the last 24 hours, I made, I made two posts, okay? I made a post that says, Excited to be here, as you can see, it's one day ago. And you can see that I made another post, image post that says, you know, the current state of collectibles, NFTs. And that was it, okay? Don't have a whole lot of followers, 50 followers. But here's the crazy thing, okay? Let's take a look at this profile right now, which is, which is my profile. Now, I only created my profile yesterday. Oh man, I didn't even realize this right now. Take a look at this. It says here, coin price, $871. So that's the price of a Ping Jun coin on BitCloud right now. Now, as you can see that there's $12,400 locked. By the way, guys, I've not put any money into this into buying my own coin. This just means that before I even created this account, right up to this point in the last 24 hours, 
about $12,000 has been put into my currency. And $12,000 put in multiplied by um, the coins in circulation. So the market cap, just like stocks, just like crypto, is worth $37,000 for all the coins in circulation for a Ping Jun coin. Now, because it's on a blockchain, it is very transparent, okay? So that means if I click on creator coin, I've been playing around, as you can tell, I've been playing around this all 24 hours, I can actually see who owns my coin, okay? Now, num over here, you'll see that I have $4,000 worth of coins, 3.9K. And you're probably thinking, wait a second, Ping Jun, I thought you didn't buy any coins. How come you have coins? Now, here's the crazy thing about this. Now, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons, okay? It's not all hype. There's some serious downsides to this as well, which we'll talk about. But how did I get coins? It is because when somebody buys my coins, I get approximately 10% reward because that's what I set when I created my account. You can actually set how much coins, how much the percentage you keep, and the recommended default is 10%. So that means you can see here that because my market cap is about 37K, I got approximately 10% of that. So maybe it's because some people sold some coins, but all in all, I probably did about $39,000 in sales for people buying my coin. I get 10% of that because it's the sale of my coin and I get to keep that. Now with this coin, I can actually convert it to their in-platform currency, which is BitCloud. And from there, I can withdraw it to a third party, which we'll talk about withdrawal right now. Okay, There's, it's quite limited because it's very new. I wouldn't even consider this in beta yet. But here's some of the things that they did um, to build up virality and to build up hype. Okay, so you can see, like all these people here, um, I don't know who they are. Like Dylan, Revolution, JST, JR. I have never met them, okay? I'm assuming they, they know of me through my work and they have bought my coins um, before I even bought my own coin. Okay, so based on, so these are all the people that owns my coins right now. Now this is the crazy thing that you and I do. So you're probably thinking, so what's the what's the opportunity? Okay, here's the opportunity. The opportunity is first thinking about the people that will eventually come on, but isn't just yet. So for example, you can see that this account, Chamant, billionaire he's already claimed his account on BitCloud. And you can see that his current coin price is 42,000 with $4 million locked in with a $12 million cap, right? And again, I can click on creator coin and I can see all of the different people that own this coin. So there's a few ways to play this game. Now, now so how does this, what is this BitCloud coin? coin, how is it supposed to work? Just imagine this, just like a stock, a person or a company, it fluctuates, right? So for example, let's say Elon Musk, let's say he, if he comes on BitCloud, let's take a look at his stock. He, he is right now the most expensive person on BitCloud, but he hasn't reserved his account yet. Now he has $13 million locked into his account with a $40 million market cap. Now, what does this mean? It means that right now, if Elon Musk claims his account, all he gotta do is go create a, a Bitcloud cloud account, show that he's the owner, but all he gotta do is make a tweet or um, on Instagram, or somehow link it to this account to show that this um, he, he's the official Elon Musk. And you know what's crazy? It means that Elon Musk is going to be able to claim $4 million because there's a $40 million market cap. He gets about 10%. Therefore, his share, just by claiming this account, is going to be $3.9 million. So the question is, which, which coin should you buy? And when was the coin go up and when does the coin go down? So you see, a coin goes up when people buy the coin, just like a share price. The coin would, price would drop whenever people sell the coin. Okay, so it's just like stocks, like any cryptocurrency, like any Forex, supply and demand. The way it's supposed to work is, let's say Elon Musk lands us on Mars, then, then in, in theory, the price of an Elon Musk coin should increase. So it's called clout. It's like the popularity of a person, right? Now, same thing here. I'm guessing if Elon Musk somehow was caught talking uh, um, red-handed, you know, saying some really racist remarks, then maybe, you know, technically his price 
of the coin would go down, right? Because people will be selling it, just like shares, just like cryptocurrency. So the question is, what is the opportunity? The opportunity is to, first of all, speculate who are the creators that you think will go up, who are the creators that isn't on BitCloud just yet, but will eventually come on, okay? Now, there's a lot of big names and celebrities that's already on, but at the same time, because you're watching this video, you are still early, and I can tell you that 99% of the influencers and celebrities, they're not on, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through strategically who I think is going to be the people that I think will be on who meets these different criteria. okay? And we'll talk more about making money as a whole as well. Now, you're probably thinking, so Ping Jun, why should I buy an Elon Musk coin? Why should I buy a Ping Jun coin? Why should I buy a Logan Paul coin? Why should I buy a Mr. Beast coin? What's the purpose of this, okay? Other than just pure speculation. So the criticism based on the talking points that I've made so far is, Ping Jun, this sounds like a whole huge Ponzi scheme. What's the value add? Is it just people buying somebody's, somebody else's stock and then hoping and praying that the price goes up? Well, there's a couple of things, okay? And this this is the really powerful thing and a few, what I believe is the future of influencer marketing. I truly believe that the future of social media platforms is something that is tied to cryptocurrency. Now, whether or not BitCloud turns out to be the emerging winner, they are the first in this concept, but whether they are the eventual winner, just like how, you know, MySpace and Friendsters were the, before Facebook, but they didn't last and they eventually got crushed, right? So they are the first, doesn't mean that they will be crushed, but or they will last, but I do believe that this is the future. Now, what is the future? The future is basically every person being a business. Okay, now, now let me just speak to you guys for a second, okay? So what does this mean? You, you might have heard from the saying, I think it was from uh, Kanye, who says, I'm not a businessman, I am a business man. This BitCloud platform takes things to a whole new level. Think about it. Right now, every influencer, every author, every thought leader, every expert, every authority, they all have their own currency. When you think of it, it's a little bit depressing. It feels like it's, a, it's an episode of Black Mirror where everybody's now is trying to safeguard their reputation in their stock because their profile is literally linked to a share price. Now, at the same time, what does this mean? It means that it forces influencers and content creators and, um, and celebrities to really level up in their content, in their creativity, in their strategy. But this is the main few uses of creator coins that is going to be a huge part of it all. Let me walk you through what this means, okay? So what this means is, why would somebody buy a creator coin? Now, can you, could you imagine the possibilities? Okay, what if, as a content creator, what if Mr. B said, okay guys, um, I wanna be able to uh, do a meet and greet, we're gonna hang out together, and I wanna do this for our my, 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 most, my most loyal fans. And what he can do is, let me see, it seems to be loading, which by the way, you can see that this is how new the platform is. Um, I'm guessing it's the loading speed. Okay, anyway, so, so this is Ariana Grande, right? So Ariana Grande, you can see here is, um, you can see these are the top 10 people. Now, because it's crypto, your, your profile could be anonymous as well, but you can see these are the actual people that hold her coins. So. It could be Mr. Beast, it could be Logan Paul, it could be could be anybody, it could be Katy Perry, it could be Jake Paul. So what's gonna happen is when all these creators, one of the things that they can do to really incentivize their top fans. Now I'd like you to think about this right now. When it comes to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, if a person's a content creator, an author, a celebrity, an influencer, how do they really tell who their top fan is? Like right now, if somebody asked me, Ping Jun, who, who, who are your top most loyal followers on social media? I have no idea. But notice the difference now. Because it's all transparent, because it's all linked to the blockchain, Mr. Beast can literally go to his coin, creator coin, and he can tell, these are the people that truly invested in me. You can see that Mr. Beast right now, he's got about $3.8 million locked into his account. 
11 million dollar market cap. So this means if Mr. Beast, the YouTuber, claims his BitCloud account right now, he would get 1.6 million dollars in this account. Why? Because it's got a market cap of, of this amount. Mr. Beast, if he wants to bring up the value of his token or his coin, and if he wants to be able to do something special for his top fans or followers, he could say, okay guys, for my top 10, 30, 50 token holders, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing a meet and greet in LA. And if you're, or it could be a virtual meeting via Zoom. We're just gonna hang out together. We're gonna have a great time together just for, as a way of saying thank you for being one of my top fans. So all these guys here, th these are like the, the top, right? You might have seen Darman. He's huge. I believe he's got like, you know, millions of fans on Facebook as well. You can see he, he's invested 80 grand on, on Mr. Beast. So Darman can see he's got over 40 million followers. Right now, same thing here. His coin is, he's got about 50K in locked in, market cap 168,000. Okay, so back to this initial question. So Pingjun, how do we make money and how do we do this in a way that is gonna help us maximize our profit? Now, one thing I wanna mention guys, this category for today's video is in the category of high risk, extremely high reward. That's what it is, okay? If you're a follower of this channel, you'll know that the thing that I normally talk about is like funnels and traffic and social media and sales. Once in a while, I talk about, I've been talking about cryptocurrency and collectibles, but this is in the category of where you're gonna put your money in here and expect nothing in return. The 15,000 that I put in here today that I'm gonna be spending together with you guys is the amount that I'm putting in here knowing very well that's a good chance I'll never see it again. So if you guys, are able to do that with that mindset, that's how you should be approaching with a platform like this. But I'm very bullish on this and I'll show you my train of thought, just watching and modeling my friends who have made half a million dollars in the last two weeks. Okay, so let me show you how that works. Okay, the first one is coming from the angle of, first factor that I'll look at is, is it worth this person's time to come on BitCloud? And is this person gonna build up his profile and spend time with the audience on BitCloud? So yes, Elon Musk being Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates and these billionaires, I want to ask the question of, well, if Elon Musk comes in and he claims this account and he gets paid, you know, $4 million, is it worth his time? So probably here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in how much does Elon Musk make a day? Okay, let's find out. I have no idea. Let's take a look. Um, Musk, da, 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 which is almost $432 million a day. Okay. So he added 158 billion to his net worth, 432 million. Okay, so you know what that tells me? It tells me that if Elon Musk, who is sitting around, and one day one of his billionaire friends sends him a text saying, hey man, you go check this out. If you open an account, you can get $4 million in cash. You know what he's doing? He's taking a look at the text that he got from his friend. Here's what he's saying. He's saying, I could open an account or I could wait five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yep, just made $4 million, right? So to me, what are the odds of a Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk open an account? Probably very low. So to me, I'm not gonna target an S-tier God-like level entrepreneur. Okay, because to me, chances are they're not gonna open an account for a couple million dollars. Not, not at like mega billionaire status. What I wanna do is I wanna think about who are the people who are number one, great marketers, because marketers are, is what, marketers are, is, are gonna be the people that push the coin. Who are the people that is maybe not aware of this platform yet, but eventually will be? Because when they come on, that's when the price will further spike up and go up even more. I wanna think about who are the people, I, I don't wanna go for like godlike S tier level celebrities, billionaires, but let's go with like A grade, A or B. So to me, I'm thinking, okay, well, who are these, these next tier, okay? That might be aware, but they haven't either opened their account yet, or they're going to open the account, but they haven't done so. Now, here's one of the things that I found. I'm gonna share with you this YouTube video, but this is Logan Paul. So what's the checklist? The checklist is, are they into crypto? That's number one. Are they a marketer? That's number two. Number three, is this a platform that they will go on but they haven't done yet? So 
let me play you this video. This was in a podcast that was literally released two days ago at the time of me shooting this video. It's deserved the award. If anything, <laughs> like, I, let, me, let me give them a fucking pr a gift for putting up with my horse shit. I'll tell you what. You want to give me a gift on my birthday? Uh, go grab yourself some Logan Paul coin. Go grab yourself some Logan Paul, Paul coin to benefit you and me. Wait, wait, on, uh, <laughs> what you being say on, on BitCloud? You doing, um, are, are you making that announcement? Am, am I talking about BitCloud? I don't know. What, it, what are you talking about? I'm just saying like, maybe if my coin hits 100K, I'll tell you who Satoshi is. Who is Satoshi? No, well, like if my coin hits 100K, maybe I'll tell you. Oh my God, this kid's full of surprises. BitCloud, it's hot. It's hot on the market right now. Uh, <laughs> Satoshi's the guy who gave me look my at, pizza look, at the airport. What look the what tab I had. Oh, okay. I found out. I found out who uh, Satoshi was. Okay, let me just pause this second, okay? So this is like 40, 40 seconds in. And then after that, it just kind of moved on to other stuff. But this little piece here is huge, okay? Now, why? You can see that this, right now, this is April the 3rd. Guys, this is April the 3rd. And notice that this was April the 2nd. It was yesterday, okay? So you guys are literally the earliest of all birds, okay? So what does this mean? It means that it's an eventuality. Logan Paul, yes, it is ex extremely expensive right now. But if you take a look at his following and what he has done in the collectible and crypto space, if you are been following this, you'll know that he launched his own NFT collectible crypto and he did a five million dollar launch in about in, in under 45 minutes Okay, sold out for his digital collectible, but that's another topic for another day So what does this tell me? It tells me that Logan Paul is a buy. Okay, that, that's how I think So I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is um, and we're gonna make things interesting Okay, let me show you what it is that you need to be doing and we'll, we'll be buying coins together So the first thing if you are a creator do yourself a favor and buy your own coin first. Learn through my mistake. Now, what was my mistake? You will see that my profile over here, I'm already paying at inflated. Well, I'm going to say in my words because I'm the creator, right? Technically, it should have been me buying my own coin first. But instead, I had $10,000 plus worth, you know, in amount locked. And now I'm not paying at rock bottom prices the way it should be when I created my account because other people bought, bought my coin before I even bought my coin. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I've got 15K in the account. I'm not gonna blow all 15K on my profile, even though I am going to be putting in a lot more. I'm gonna give you guys the chance to join me as well in investing in what, I, I do feel that there's a lot of potential in this. So I'm gonna stagger my investments over time. I'm not gonna sell my own coin. So for today, Okay, I'm gonna give you guys time to join me as well since you're the early bird. And I'm gonna buy maybe just 5,000 of my own coin to begin with. Okay, so I've got 14 grand here. I'm gonna start off with $5,000, 5,000 US dollars on my own coin just to put my money where my mouth is to show you that I am serious about this. I am bullish on this and the direction. Again, I'm bullish on the direction of platforms and social media being tied with cryptocurrency. BitCloud may or may not be the winner, just like how MySpace and Friendster's, the, the, the Friendster wasn't the eventual winner, okay? But I'm gonna put 5,000 in here. I'm not gonna put all, everything in here so that you guys, if you wanna be able to uh, join me, I'm gonna be, you know, adding in um, every other week or so. So uh, let me just review this. This is my first transaction, by the way. I've never bought anything before, so let me just read this. So you're exchanging about 31 uh, bit, bit clouds. That's about 5,000 US dollars and you receive five Ping June coins. Price per coin is about 1,000. Man, I feel sad because again, by right, if there weren't other people buying my coins first, I wouldn't be paying, paying at this inflated price. But I know that the price of the coins will only go up and let's see what the new price of the coin is after putting $5,000 in. Okay, success by complete. Let's go back to profile. Let's take a look at the creator coin again. So now you can see the 17K locked in and my creator coin right now, um, I've got about, you know, $5,000. And by the way, you can see all of the other people. Notice how everybody else that held coins, their prices all went up because of the amount that I put in, right? So I'm not gonna withdraw, guys, every single, um, I'm just gonna be adding funds in because I am, I'm very optimistic and bullish about this platform. Okay, so I put 5K in, that gives us 10K to play with 
for all these other creators. Okay, so um, how am I going to think about all these things? Okay, so next one. Man, I'm just looking at all these guys. I just want to remember the name because th these literally are, you know, the early birds. Anyway, so let's go back to Logan Paul. Okay, Logan Paul, like I mentioned, is somebody that I know is going to get on this platform. Some of the critics and naysayers of this platform is, okay, before I talk about and, and before I show you more people to buy, um, let's talk about the downside of this, okay? Because I don't want this video to be one of those videos where it's just rah, rah, it's, it's amazing and I don't talk about downsides. Now, that being said, there are some major, major downsides and flaws to this platform. It's not perfect, okay? Let me tell you what they are, okay? Now, one of the things that they do is in order to build hype and anticipation, they took all like of the top influencers, the top 15,000 profiles, and they made it so that anybody can buy their coin before the influencer came um, claims their profile. So technically, even though Logan Paul has a profile, he didn't claim this profile. And not everybody like Logan Paul likes the fact that their name is being utilized and being marketed when it's not a representation of them, right? They might not endorse BitCloud. They might not like BitCloud, which in fact, the Prime Minister of Singapore, just three days ago, he made a post. He said, there seems to be a profile of me on some cryptocurrency related site that is not me, right? I do not endorse this. Now that itself is a problem. And so far, whenever somebody writes into BitCloud, they have always taken it down, but that itself is a flaw. It's a great marketing move, but from a legal perspective, I'm not a lawyer, but it's very questionable. Now, Logan Paul might be an exception because, you know, he likes BitCloud, but there are a few things to look out for. Now, next one, whenever I'm taking a look at new projects, I'm always thinking about who are the people behind it? Who are the people investing? Now, if you take a look at the people and the companies backing it, Sequoia, one of the biggest names in Silicon Valley, like all of the big startups, whether it is, you know, Uber, Airbnb, they're, they're involved in all. Now to me, whenever they invest in different platforms, they have my attention. If you take a look at the people that's investing in this project in the early stages, you'll see a lot of big names there. I'm not gonna go through them, but let's just say um, it is a platform that has got a lot of attention that is not yet blown up. And that's why chances are you might not never heard of it until recently and, and it's just gonna blow up. Second criticism before we, we continue shopping. Second criticism is basically right now, there's no official way to withdraw your funds, okay? Now this is usually a huge red flag. This is usually the red flag of hype or a Ponzi scheme. Now, if you have ever invested in the early stages of any platform, you'll know that withdrawals at the start is usually tough. And the only way to really withdraw your funds that you make from this platform when you sell the shares of your creator coins um, is over the counter, which is basically through official, unofficial channels like Telegram, buyer seller, willing buyer, willing seller kind of deal. Until it's listed on, a, on an exchange right now, the only way to withdraw your funds is through third-party marketplaces um, like Telegram. Okay, so because of that, that's not a huge criticism, which people are saying, you know, it's, it's a Ponzi scheme. Uh, but really right now, it's a super early stage of a platform like this. Okay, so let's talk about shopping. Okay, so for me, Logan Paul, even though the price is inflated, um, has my green light. I am going to spend, um, how much do I spend? I'll spend $1,000 on this. Okay, we'll, we might come back later. We'll see. Okay, we've got, we, I, I want to be able to kind of spread this out over, over, you know, a lot of different people. Next one is, chances are if Logan Paul knows, it tells me that his, and by the way, guys, just for your reference, this is all black and white, okay? Um, right now, you can see that I'm spending um, $1,000 and the price per coin that I'm paying is 28000 Therefore, I'm getting 0.035 of a coin. So chances are that tells me it's a domino effect, right? Because influencers, no influencers, they'll tell their families like, hey man, you know. So Jake Paul, his brother, this tells me that there's a good chance that Jake Paul is going to be here as well. And it's only a matter of time. Let's take a look at his creator coin. Man, Craig Clements, real baller. He's got like half a million and all these big names. Okay, so um, that, so to me, again, are they into crypto? 
are they an influencer? If the answer is yes to both, to me, it's a matter of time. So it's an eventuality that um, they're going to be on, they're going to be making posting, they're going to be rewarding their uh, top holders of their creator coin. So this is where, let me just follow him. I'm going to buy a thousand of this as well. Guys, you don't have to follow my picks because you could be watching this video three months, six months, a year from now. I don't know when you're watching this. The goal here is not about the person, but the train of thought. You're modeling my strategy right now. So $1,000, right? Next person I'm thinking about is, um, let's take Gary V. Gary V is into crypto. He talks about NFTs, collectibles, crypto all the time. He is a marketer. And you know that if he goes into a platform, he goes all in and he's going to tell his followers all about it. So right now you can see that there's about half a million dollars locked in Gary, 1.73 million. So creator coin wise, I am going to see, okay, who are the top people? 220 grand, 110 grand. Cool. So to me, that's a buy and I'm going to put in a thousand dollars over here as well. BitCloud's under heavy load. Okay, let me, let me try that again. Okay, just to check if the Gary V transaction has gone through yet. You can see it hasn't. I'm still holding um, $1,000 worth of Logan, $1,000 worth of Jake, and about 8,000 of my own coins, okay? So um, we still have 7,000 left. Well, while waiting for this, okay? So let's just take a look at the white paper again because when you understand the vision, you understand where are the opportunities as well. So now you can buy your favorite person's coin, which is what we've been doing so far. But I want to make sure that they are a marketer and they're into crypto. Because if they're not in crypto, they are not going to probably push it. They're not going to reward. They're not going to engage. They might just open an account, claim their money, dump their coin, cash out, bye-bye. And that is not what you want. So let's talk about what are the creator coins for. So why would you buy these coins if it's not a Ponzi scheme, right? If it's not a scam. Remember I talked about the stakeholder meeting? So imagine if, and this is something I'm gonna be doing, okay? One of the things I'm gonna be doing is like for the top 10 or 30 people, my coins, I might do like a special VIP day. Like could be a virtual meeting. It could be a one day event, but it could be a stakeholder meeting. Can you imagine if Elon, uh, he's not gonna do it, right? It's not worth time. But can you imagine if an influencer, you know, a celebrity like Jake Paul or Logan or whoever, right? Or Gary Vee. If they say, you know what, for the top 50 people that hold my coin, I'm going to be doing a, 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 a mastermind with the 50 of you, right? How that, that's able to now reward your top fans. Also, there's going to be other things like rewarding a new way to prioritize messages. Can you imagine if you, like guys, I can't handle the amount of messages that I get on Facebook and Instagram. However, if there was a prioritized message from somebody that holds my coin, that is the top 10, top 30, this is when it would be prioritized. Now, this could be things like sponsored tweets. Sponsored tweets meaning, can you imagine if creators now have an inbox where anyone can bid to have a repost, right? So think about this. So if you wanted Kim Kardashian to retweet your fashion brand, you would submit an entry into her inbox and if she retweets it, she gets to keep your money, right? So there's a lot of different possibilities that can happen with this. Premium content. Hmm, I wonder what type of markets lend itself to premium content, right? Monthly subscription. Guys, I don't know what it is that you're thinking. This is a PG rated channel, but just think about this, right? What type of markets would have premium content? For my top 10 coin holders, you're gonna be seeing some never been seen before images. Now, I don't know the direction of this platform, but I'm here to show you the possibility, okay? Now, just based on this alone, while we are waiting for the thing to load, notice how I brought up this thing called the Twitterverse. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Twitterverse. Oh, by the way, I also prepared this. I know that I tend to be a little bit ADD, but literally, before I shot this video, um, if you look at Jake Paul's story, you wouldn't know this unless you're really into it, right? He says, watch, my BitCloud will double in price over the next 17 days. So Jake is somebody who knows how to build up hype. He just knows how to do it, okay? So to me, understanding marketing plus crypto is a huge plus point, okay? So anyway, um, back to this Twitterverse. If you look at Twitter's evolution over the last decade, okay? Twitter has got so many spin-offs. 
You have got like Twitter, but when linked with Foursquare, then it's geolocation. Um, Twitter with live stream, these are all of the other apps that's based around Twitter. Uh, event management, you know, TweetVite and TweetDIR, all these Twitter related sites. Take a look at all of the spin offs as a result of Twitter. Now, BitCloud is built on open source, meaning any developer can come in and build on this application because it's open source and it's been on a blockchain. So this is just like version 3.0 of the roughest, you know, they call this Web 3.0, we're in Web 3.0 right now, but this is just the start. And those of you that understand the direction, that is how you get an unfair advantage. By the way, if you want to be able to see what that next thing is, let me show you what this next buy is. Let me try to get another $1,000. And if you want to understand what the next big buy is, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and tap that like button right now. You know you want to tap that. If you're enjoying this video so far, if you can see the potential of BitCloud, if you're excited, let me know in the chat below, say BitCloud. And uh, post, let me know your BitCloud handle. One of the things that I'm going to do for those of you that comment below is I'm going to randomly pick a comment in my next video and I'm going to buy your coin. Okay, and you're going to appear in my next video. And if you're enjoying this video so far as well, be sure to subscribe for our latest up-to-date videos just like this one if you want to continue getting an unfair advantage and to be the first to know about these changes. Okay, so end of commercial break. Let's head back over to the video. Let me try to buy Gary V's coin again for attempt number two. If I can't, oh, there we go, done. So now I'm gonna go back to my wallet and we now have $6,000 left. Okay, so next person that I wanna think about is um, somebody that's a marketer, he's a good friend. Let's take a look at Russell Brunson. I know he likes uh, crypto and I, and I just messaged him yesterday to help him get verified and he sees he's verified yesterday. So let's see, okay, I wanna see if it's undervalued. Okay. He's got $33,000 locked. So I always want to see when did a person join the platform. So you can see uh, Russell Brunson, not going to lie, this is pretty cool. Now, for those of you that if you came on this channel and you're not from a marketing um, world, and if you're watching this because you're in the crypto world, Russell Brunson is like the, the king of funnels in the funnel hacking world. Russell is like the authority. He's Russell Brunson. Okay, so... Um, Co-founder of ClickFunnels, New York Times, uh, best-selling author, coming to the creator coin. Let's take a look. You can see, okay, so first of all, how do I tell if the person is serious? If he has spent a lot of money on his own coin. So you can see here that Russell Brunson, the fact that there's $33,000 or 100000 in market cap and 60% of Russell Brunson, this tells me, what does this tell you and me? It tells me that Russell Brunson put in 50 k of his own money buying his own coin. What does that tell you? It tells you that he's serious about this platform. If I were to go to post, take a look at this. He says, try to think of cool ideas to increase value of my coins. Maybe a private VIP day. Now I can tell you, okay, I've been part of Russell Brunson's mastermind. He's got a $50,000 mastermind in a circle. I've been part of the mastermind for five years. And a VIP day to mastermind and connect with other people, no brainer. Okay, so let me see. I can see that 3,000, 5,000. Man, these prices really jumped up since I created my account yesterday. I remember that this used to, three coins was at $1,000 each. Now it's at 5,000. No, 3,000, $1,000 each, so it's 3,000. Now this portfolio has nearly doubled. So that tells me, you know what? Russell, he is a marketer. He's a little bit into cryptocurrency as well, but this tells me that the future and the direction of this is bright. Why? Because the market cap is still fairly low. So for that reason, um, and because this is kind of like my world, I'm gonna put in, nah, I don't wanna put in a thousand. It's gotta be way more than a thousand. I wanna buy $5,000 worth of Russell Brunson coins. Okay, so here we go. Insane, I'm, I'm literally spending the same amount of money on Russell that I am on myself. But again, I don't wanna dump, you know, like 15 grand on my own coins. I'm gonna do it over time. So it gives you guys the time to invest in my coin. Um, so that when I eventually put money in, it continues going up. Yeah, I'm, I'm um, so let's confirm right now, $5,000 worth of Russell Brunson coins. Okay, right now it's, you know, 1,900 per coin. I'm gonna press back and my wallet. Okay, so 
Next one is, I am going to, let's see, how much money do I have left? Wallet, um, 1,800. So with 1,008 left, what should I do? Okay, Mr. Beast is somebody that, here's the thing about Mr. Beast. He's a YouTuber, he's a marketer, great marketing, um, love his videos. But I don't know if he's going to claim this account or push it. If he does, he will probably do something really crazy for, you know, if you ever watch his stuff, it's always like, you know, giving away $500,000, giving away a million dollars, giving away 30 cars, something crazy. So when he claims this account, he will get about $1.6 million. And I'm just trying to think in the brains of Mr. Beast, what would he do? 11 million market cap. Let's, let, let's compare market caps. Here's the next thing to kind of understand, right? You're competing somebody with a very no, well-known in a small circle, right? billionaire, $12 million market cap, or somebody that's well-known in a wide circle and with the same market cap. Now that tells me that there is still t space to, to join in on this. Now this doesn't mean that you need to be doing this. Again, guys, do not model the same names that I'm following because by the time you're watching this, it could have already you know, skyrocketed and means that you would have missed out. It is all about um, investing in people that is not on here yet, okay? In fact, I just got a text from a friend who tells me somebody that is, let me see, let me check. Guys, I will do that in a different video. One of the things that I was gonna do is I was gonna look for a text from my friend um, who is, uh, was about to tell me all of the different celebrities and influencers that is coming on to this platform, but they have not done so yet. And these are the people I'm gonna be buying their coins before they do so. And if you wanna be able to get this, I don't know if, if there's a term for it, but this sounds like legal insider training where you know somebody is going to be on BitCloud and you know that their, their price is gonna spike. Um, and if you wanna be able to find out firsthand, well, be sure to follow me as well as subscribe to this channel. Anyway, so um, let's go ahead and spend the remaining $1,000. I'm gonna put in $1,000 on Mr. Beast. I'm gonna click on buy. Remaining $1,000 goes over here and I've got $800 left. I'll probably do it in a giveaway. So, um, and, and, and buy your, co uh, your, your coins, okay? So I'm gonna buy Mr. Beast, $1,000. And that is the wallet done. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be pumping in more money. I'm gonna be buying my coins and I'm gonna be utilizing my coins to buy your coins. So remember to let me know in the comments below um, what your handle is, what you think about this. But again, guys, one thing, hashtag not financial advice. Be prepared to put in an amount as though it's your play money. To me, I'm here having fun. I'm here exploring the platform but put in money that you feel you're never gonna see ever again. And that's the right way to approach a platform like this one. Well, this video has kind of been a whole lot longer. I thought it was to be a 12 minute video, but I, I think we all got a little bit excited over here. And if you wanna be able to make the most um, out of this, be sure to smash the like button so that um, YouTube will recommend this video to more people and click on subscribe for more future videos like this one. In fact, guys, one of the things that I didn't even realize is that this was actually live training and I didn't realize that this was my backdrop the entire time. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, team and everybody here, if you wanna say hello to YouTube, this was a behind the scenes training of how Ping Jun would do a YouTube video. Didn't realize that they were there the entire time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, press subscribe and I will see you in the next video. And if you truly wanna get really good, be sure to binge watch this entire video that it's all about my take on the future of cryptos that's gonna appear in front of you right now in 5, 4, 3, 2. Hey, it's Ping Jun here again, and I wanted to mention one real quick thing. I know the video just ended, but this is super crucial. What does this mean? It means that right now, if you can get your handle on BitCloud at the very least, go get your username, because if not, somebody else is gonna get it and you're gonna lose it forever. So do that right now.